Hey guys, welcome back to Financial Professional. Today, we'll talk about 10 challenges entrepreneurs will face. Let's head into it. Number 1. Taking the first leap For most, the biggest battle would be for entrepreneurs to take that first leap. It may be quitting a job, setting up a website, entering an accelerator program for startups, approaching someone with your first pitch, or just announcing your venture to the world and family and committing the dollars and credit you have. After a fair amount of brainstorming and planning, this usually comes. That can be a time when your mind plays straight on you frequently, creeping fear and doubt. There are a lot of excuses you can make to choose from. There are more than enough, including your launch time. Two things stand out here among all the super successful entrepreneurs I've interviewed. The first is that in what most would you consider the worst crisis and economic times? Many of the successful billion dollar startups have been launched and acquired. The timing is always better than it seems to you. One of the most fun and rewarding parts of being an entrepreneur is figuring out as you go. Number two, the time it takes for the results to show up. Big overnight success is truly the accumulation over time of steady, consistent tiny efforts, sales, press, and fundraising apply to that. Unfortunately, right before the big payoff hits, the vast majority of entrepreneurs fold and quit. If they were to hold on for another day, week, or month, it could all come together, often far larger than they could have imagined. In fact, just like Muhammad Ali, the big winners of startups are often just those who held out longer and kept going when everyone else left and went home. You decide to hang it in there. It is worth the while. Number 3. Cash Flow Cash flow shortage are one of the most prevalent reasons for a new company failure is the management of cash flow. The founders of the hot TRX suspension training brand, Rane Hattricks, cautions during his interview on the Dealmaker podcast that you can go broke in your best months. Also, that is the often when it occurs. You may just have a record number of orders taken. Yet, before you get paid and put the money back into your bank, you may also have a record amount of expenses to deliver on those promises. For a month, a hurricane could come through and stall your revenue. A government shutdown could kick in, all the payments from a large government contract and freeze them. Beat it by paying attention to the need of projection of your cash flow, then make sure you have some financial reserves and have insurance or some emergency credit at least. Always raise money that you believe you're going to need. Number 4. Fundraising for your startup A startup fundraising have a lot more work than most of the new entrepreneurs realize. Not having a complete understanding of the process and what it takes can lead to a lot of frustration, or at least miserable terms if not failed rounds. It can take up to 6 to 12 months to lift the round. For every check they bring in, even the best startups and founders can face 200 numbers. Then everything starts again. It's all about mastering storytelling and capturing the essence of 15 to 20 slides when it comes to fundraising. Take a look at the pitch deck template created by the legend of Silicon Valley, Peter Thiel, that I recently covered for a winning deck. With a 500k check that turned into more than 1 billion in cash, Thale was Facebook's first angel investor. Number 5. Due Diligence The due diligence process after you get funding commitment is what really becomes challenging in fundraising. Learn a lot in advance about the process and get expert advice on how to handle it well, not only in terms of execution, strategy, and investor updates, but also to survive the chaos and stress mentally and physically. Number 6. Time Management We're all always looking for more time. Why can't it be 48 hours a day or 10 days a week? Sadly, all of us share exactly the same number of hours a day. Some are going to have a far fewer days than others have. If you are hoping to build a true rapid growth startup, there will be a lot more to juggle than you imagine. You're going to wear a lot of hats and probably do tasks you've never imagined. Yet, you can't let that rob you of your full time either. When it comes to your relationships, there are no do-overs. In advance, set some boundaries. Remember what is important indeed. Harness all the very best hacks of all time and productivity you can. Delegating Many great business owners and entrepreneurs entrepreneurs still really struggle with this. Maybe they're very smart and talented, they just can't get out of the way they own. So instead of scaling a true startup and industry disrupting business, they get stuck owning a small business or being a freelance agent. The bottom line is that unless you learn to employ, outsource, delegate, and more importantly empower those individuals to do amazing work, you're not going very far. Just hire the best. They might not do it like you 100%, but they may actually produce even better outcomes. Number 8. Balancing Perfection and progress. In the never-ending pursuit of perfection and detailed minute, the above is a great way to break the chains of getting bogged down. Pay attention to and polish the details. This could make a difference. Yet, unless you actually take action, you're not getting anywhere. You need to recognize a difference, as Seth Godin puts it, between almost barely good enough and perfectly good. Number 9. Keeping ego under control. This list has concentrated so far on the challenges of getting to the top. While more can bring success, ego is a chief among them. 
them. If you don't carefully keep it in check, your ego can lead you to make many mistakes, bad decisions, and generally let your inner beast go on a rampage at the cost of your relationships. Number 10. Seeing the company fail after an exit Talking about raising big rounds of VC money and selling businesses for billions of dollars is a lot sexier. The challenge and pain of seeing a business once loved not to be used, underperform, or go bankrupt after an exit is what few talk about. If you're lucky, maybe you could buy it back at a discount. Finding a great home and custodian for it when you decide to sell is a better strategy. For you, that may be far more valuable than the price you receive. So, what do you think about these challenges that entrepreneurs have to face? Are you planning to become an entrepreneur yourself? Let us know in the comments below. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.